Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Types of Faults. The Earth is a dynamic and constantly changing place. The tectonic plates which sit on the asthenosphere shift and move. This movement creates stress and the rocks at the surface may break in response to this, a little like breaking this pencil. When the rock breaks, cracks are created which are called faults. On either side of the fault are blocks of rock called fault blocks. When these fault blocks move, earthquakes may occur. There are three main types of faults, strike slip faults, normal faults, and reverse faults. Let's first determine the difference between the hanging wall and the foot wall. In all faults except for vertical faults, the hanging wall is the block above the fault and the foot wall is below. Two simple ways to identify the foot and hanging wall is to place your finger on the fault surface and move it up. It will automatically be located on the hanging wall. The hanging wall will have an angle less than 90 degrees at the top and the foot wall will have an angle greater than 90 degrees at the top. Let's get started with the faults. In a strike slip fault, the blocks move past each other horizontally. A strike slip fault occurs due to shear stress which pushes the rocks horizontally but in opposite directions. Strike slip faults are common along transform boundaries like the San Andreas fault. During a normal fault, the hanging wall moves down relative to the foot wall. These faults are called normal because this is what you would normally expect the faults to do. Normal faults are a result of tension, which stresses or pulls the rock apart. Normal faults are common along divergent boundaries. The basin range area is an example of this. A reverse fault occurs when the hanging wall moves up the foot wall. These are called reverse because this is the reverse of what you would expect as a result of gravity. Reverse faults occur as a result of compression, which is stress that squeezes the rocks together. The San Gabriel Mountains are caused by reverse faults. I hope this video helps with faults. Thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math or science video every day. Please subscribe and share.